now this is part three, hopefully the last one, of different kinds of crunches, crunches that we do. Um, I will demonstrate like the isolated crunches, regular crunches, ABC crunches, one leg up, one arm up, um, oblique stuff, upside down turtle, and the ball between the legs. Those all involve stomach muscles that you're engaging. That's why I'm putting this together. So, what the instructor will have us do in our weight training class is after we start our warm-ups, like stretches and all that stuff, he will say, okay, do free crunches for 30 to 40 seconds, and you do it like this. I'm sure some of you guys know how to do this. Like this. Do that for, like, 30 to 40 seconds, and then he says rest. Then afterwards, he will make us do the isolated crunches. You can do however many sets of however many reps you want to do. Um, I'm going to do one set of three, and he will make us go up, and then one, and then up, and then two, and then up. At the last one, because it's three, he will say, okay, pulsate it, go, and then you just go as fast as you can with these for 20 to 30 seconds until he says rest. So that's the isolated crunches thing. You can do it however many reps you want, or, or uh, however many sets of reps you want to do. Uh, the next one is the ABC crunches. You, there's two ways of doing it. You can do it on the ball. If it hurts too much to do it on the ball, you can do it on your back. Whichever feels comfortable for you. So you, if you're doing it on your back, have your legs crossed like this, and it would be A, which is two to the left, B, one to the middle, and then C, two to the right, and then you go back to the middle, and then go back to A. So I'm going to demonstrate this. Go A, A, B, C, C, B, A, A, B, C, C. And then when he gets to here, he'll do it however many times he wants to do it. Then he'll say, come straight up for 30 seconds, and then you rest. You can also do it on the ball the same way, but if you have a ball, a big or small ball, make sure that you are steady on it and that you're not flopping around too much because the ball likes to move. So you go A, A, and so forth, and you do the same thing. You can do it slow or fast if you want to. It is completely up to you. Another thing we do is one leg up, one arm up, but before I get into that, I want to de demonstrate the upside down turtle, as he calls it, where you have your feet close to your buttocks, and you go down, you have your arms here, and you try to touch the outside of your feet for about 30 seconds, so you go like this. You can do it either fast or slow. They do it for like 40 seconds, and he says rest. Now, with the, that's, that's the upside down turtle. One leg up, one arm up is similar to uh, the crunches. Like all these, like I said, involve your stomach. So you bring this leg up, you have your right arm behind your head. You have your left arm up like this for balance. You come up like this. For you do this for 30 seconds, switch and do the other side. So that's that. Now, related to the upside down turtle, I wanted to demonstrate that first before I show you this one. You bring your leg up again. Instead of having any hands behind your head, you keep your neck straight, but not stressed. But you do this motion like you would do touching the outside of your feet and you do each side for 30 seconds like this and then you rest it is hard to do that for some people it can hurt your neck if you don't do it right so be careful next is going to be the obliques there's two different ways of doing it i prefer to do it with my leg crossed this way and having my left arm or my left elbow 
gain, aim for the right knee. So you go like this for about 30 seconds. You switch and do the other side for 30 seconds. You can also do it on your side like this. Let's see, like, let's see. I know I'm not doing it right, but there's that way of doing it, you know. You do it each side for 30 seconds and then rest. I just da 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 Okay. The last thing I'm going to demonstrate for you is the ball between the legs. This is easy for me. Some of this may be hard for you. What you do is you take your hands and lock them up like this again. But put them behind your back. You have it like this. So You go like this to keep your back straight and proper and all that stuff. You bring the ball up down to your feet and then you do this for 30 to 40 seconds. You can do it fast or slow and let me tell you something while I demonstrate this for you. You will feel some popping in your back and that is a good thing. Why? because it means that your spine and your back, back is being properly um, going back into place. This is very healthy for your back and for your legs. So you do that for 30 to 40 seconds and then rest. And that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoy this. This is a little bit of a mix of what we do in our weight training class. We would, I would do this in a completely different order than what I showed you, but because of time restraints, I had to do it this way. But for those of you who do want to work out, that is great. Um, good for you. I'm sorry this had to be in three parts, but um, I just recently found out that I can't do, I still can't make any videos any longer than 10 minutes. So. I had to split this up in three parts. So anyway, you take care and have fun working out if you so want to be in shape. And don't hurt yourself. <laughs>